test. Yeah. Ring the bell. Everything we produce, with that exception, comes either through this room or the other room. We have it depending on how much work we've got going through, and everything has a guitar plugged into it. And we don't batch test like certain manufacturers do. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, guitar test it. Okay, so now you'd obviously flash test it first because that's what Claire does. Safety check, make sure it's going to be safe, not to kill anybody. Yeah, good idea. And only me. Only me. <laughs> yeah, it's just you. It yeah. doesn't matter, Mark. I mean, no, I'm all right. It's unreplaceable. Yeah. <laughs> What's uh, the, uh, what are the um, speaker cabs that are in, in there? What are the, uh, in the, in the cabs? They're all Celestian. They're all Celestian, yes. Um, apart from the two base cabs we use, which are made, we use eminent speakers. Okay. Uh, everything else is Celestian. There's not much you can say about the weather. The only thing I do like about this is showing that lot off. It's an order that's being put together. And we actually. The slash one, yeah? Yeah, see where they're going. The C. We imagine what the C stands for. China? We're actually exporting to China. Everybody else is buying no from China. Way. We're selling to China. Fantastic. I mean, you've got to see I for India. India? Um, we do sell in India, but I don't well, know. Not that much. No, well, the, the problem is it's all marked very difficult. No, it's, a, it's based on the 1959. I mean, yeah, that's what he's used. That's right. What he used to use, I mean, what he did is he got he used to buy the 1959s and have the tech fit his overdrive pedal into it. Okay. How did you do that? Oh, I don't know. It's a mod that he did. He had done so for it. So the overdrive pedal would be there all the time. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. So what we did, what this is, is, is basically yeah, that. Yeah. We've done it our way. What so it right works. Was it, was it a, I, I, I don't think. I don't. At the time, I expect so, wouldn't you? TS9 yeah, or yeah. something. Yeah. What I want to know is that I've heard one working. Yeah. I've heard about and, that. And I mean, they're great, but if you've got a 1959, that put a tube screamer or our, um, our drive pedal at the front end of it, you'll be able to get the same sound. But it won't be a man's seat. Oh wow! Just watch the step as you go in. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> Freaky man! Gonna kill the sound here. For this. Hold on. Is it ready? Isn't that horrible? It's dead, isn't it? Yeah. Just totally, it's the most dead sound I've ever heard. <laughs> Just no. That's awesome. Do you want to record some there? Uh... Yeah, you can record it anything. Awesome. Yeah, see if you why, can't why have they got this one? What you're studying? Have you got a microwave oven at home? Yeah. Yeah. You where you cook your peas and you. Yeah. Oh. You're studying the microwave oven. Oh right. This is basically a microwave oven. It's the only room in the factory even the gym has to ask permission to come into, like I just did. Because obviously, if we came in here, we shut the door. They didn't know and they switched it on. It wouldn't be very nice for us. Oh, is it actually a microwave? It's, it's, it basically is a microwave. What we do is. I presume you have mobile phones. Yeah. Yeah, I think most people do these days. Have you got one? Yeah. Yeah. What we have to do is that if you've got your amplifier on next to you, switched on, and your mobile phone goes off, it makes a funny noise. Yeah. Mm. That's the carrier trying to find your phone. We're not allowed to pick up your conversation. It's an infringement of your civil liberties. If this, you're talking on the phone and we're sat there listening to what you're saying through your amplifier, it can't happen. Mm. So at the design stage, they come in here, they put on the table, the aerial bombards them with a normal signal that would come out of your mobile phone, which is uh, 4.2, 4.8 yeah. gig, whatever, with a 1K sine wave on there. If it picks up the 1K sine wave, the amplifier has to be altered to make sure it doesn't. In the case of the JTM, JVM 410, there's about 26 components in that amplifier that actually have no effect on the sound whatsoever. In theory, you could cut them out and throw them away. They're purely on Just this to get it past this test. Blimey. They're mainly filters yeah. across the... The, vol the voltages, the inputs, the outputs, that sort of thing. How powerful is the, the weight in there? It's about 12 times more powerful than the average home Ooh. microwave. Right, so 12? About, 12 about 10 or 12 times more powerful. So we get first out of the back. Oh, you, I should imagine you probably last a few seconds. But that's, that's why it's so strict. Oh, too right. Yeah, you'd have to right, sprint, wouldn't you? Did, right. Was he here this morning? No, was he? He was here this morning. I think he, I don't know if he'll be there tonight. How is he? He's getting better. He says the same thing every time when I see him. I shake his hand. How are you feeling, Jim? He says, with both hands. 
funny. He's got a sense of humour still. Very funny, yes. He's a nice, he's a nice guy. I spent many a happy hour talking to him. I bet, yeah. I bet he's got some stories, isn't he? Yes. Oh, yeah, some great stories. Last bit, it's engineering, or the corner of engineering. Basically what you've got here is a self-contained unit which makes chassis. You put a reel of steel in one end, the machine you can hear banging away, and the minute you're making back panels. JCM2, which is a DSL or a DSL. It also makes a chassis. It will then put the holes out that those two machines will bend the back by the chassis shape. To make a class 5 from start to finish is about a minute and 45 seconds. Oh, well. Wow. In theory, we can use overnight. Because you load it up with a new reel of steel, set it off, and walk off. Are these all the bits knocked these out? All the bits that have come out, which we have to recycle by law these days. We, we always have them anyway. Have our own drum company. Yes, I noticed though, it's a bongo type things, yeah. are they? Well, we, it's the, the name the town is obviously a British name, a uh, British company, I should say. Uh, and I don't know why, but whether they got the difficulty or not, I don't know the story. But about 18 months ago, we bought them, and we've just released the first drum kit. Oh, awesome. Drum kit? Yeah. Wow. Which is what you always wanted to do. Still playing. Oh, oh, very well. We, uh, because we've bought the towel, there's certain bits on the drum, drums and the bongos, whatever, that we need to have engineered, yeah. you know, milled. And so what we, what, instead of having this made out of metal to start with and find out we got it wrong, it's cost a lot of money, we bought this machine, and it allows us to make three-dimensional models of things. Oh, it's still okay. Fun? Can I just correct you? Of course you can. To find out if we can improve it. Ah, right. <laughs> <laughs> find out if we can actually any good at it. <laughs> so we can actually, it will make, you can see that there, it's made a, an adjuster. And the idea is that it'll finish up looking like that. Okay. And once we're happy with the size, the design and the strength, then we'll have to proper on those ones made. Oh my God. There you go. That's... <laughs> That is? Oh, that's right, hand-wired. That's hand-wired. Wow. 1974X. That's the model number. Wow. It, um, it's actually faulty. It's faulty TX. But, yeah, that's why we, we test them. To make sure. Wow. This, is, this comes in as a blank bit of... It's these days, it's fine. It's um, fiberglass. It used to be 4 mica. Can't use 4 mica anymore. Because of rules and regulations. Um, so it comes in with just a hole stamped into it. We then we'll put all the rivets in, and then all the components are all hand wired. So this, which has got 37 components on, takes longer to manufacture than JVM, which has say about 500 components. It takes 22 minutes or thereabouts. This will take about an hour and a half for 37 components. That's why this I'm right in saying is the single most expensive amplifier we manufacture. It's an 18 watt valve amplifier, one by 12. It's a pound short, fourteen hundred pounds in the shop. Because he's hand built. They're Can you play a uh, Black Ice by Ace Which one? Black Ice. Black Ice. I don't know that one. Do you do you know how to play it? No. I, know play I don't know that one. I used to know a bunch of ACDC. There was a. <laughs> You know some stuff? I know how to play that. You want to play it? Okay. Okay, cool. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that video this, mate. Is that a video this one? Yeah. <laughs> don't drop it. <laughs> no, yeah, don't drop it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Well, I just want to thank Marshall again for putting this on. It's been a really, really cool time. It's, it's a great thing for me. It's very, it's casual, and uh, hopefully, you know, I, you got to see a different side of me or whatever that, uh, you saw my backside when I was, but um, I, I really, this is a great opportunity for me.